Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am building a, another starter home in Plymouth Isle. So this is the second proper single sim starter home for my own world that I created called Plymouth Isle. So if you don't know, uh, I made this world from scratch and there's a playlist you can check out on my channel. Uh, where um, I make the whole world and you can see that and I'm still working on it uh, I'm still creating um, community lots for the world as an ongoing series, but I'm also building houses for the world So this house was built on lot number 90 in Plymouth Isle So it's actually right by the beach It's across the street from the beach, which is pretty nice and you can download this house in the description below Of course, there's also a link to a map of all the lots as well. So you'll be able to figure out what lot number 90 is, or where lot number 90 is, and yeah, that's where I built this house. So yes, this house does uh, conform to the restrictions of being a starter home for a single sim, so it is indeed under 16,500 simoleons. I think it's about 16,200 to 300, so again, I struggled a bit trying to keep it um, below that price point, but I did, I did do it. And uh, yeah, so anyway, just as a warning, um, as with all the houses that I, not all of them, but the majority of my recent houses, there's no yellow horse in this one because uh, that little sculpture item is just too expensive for these houses, unfortunately. But this house uh, still turns out pretty detailed for a starter home, which I was pretty satisfied with. It also is kind of dated looking, which was the idea. So you know, don't worry if you think it looks terrible, that's totally fine if you think that, but I think it's kind of cool. You know, it kind of has like this intentionally dated aesthetic. Um, you'll see when we get to the interior what I'm talking about. But anyway, this house is called Strawberry Starter because it's kind of reddish on the outside. It's actually more of like a salmon color, but you know, don't worry about it. I just didn't want to do like bright red. So, you know, I thought that this red was a little bit more muted and more appropriate but anyway this house ends up having one bedroom and one bathroom as you can probably already see and just like the other starter homes uh, that I've done um, you know there's no laundry room or anything because there's just not enough money for that but anyway uh, you can see here I'm just putting in the items before I recolor them just to get an idea of how much I can fit in uh, you know because I don't want to like detail stuff or there's not much detail involved but like put things in and recolor them and get them situated only to discover and you delete it later because I don't have the money so um, you know I kind of just put the items in just to get a feel for what uh, I could put into the house without making it too expensive and then I went back and kind of changed the colors of everything so you'll see that. I also changed the outside too, so I don't go with the way that it looks now. I wasn't very happy with it. So I ended up changing the roof to light gray, um, and I also changed the front a bit. Uh, and actually I changed the whole roof, as you'll see soon. I don't know at what point I do it. I think it's going to be momentarily, but I just wasn't satisfied with how it looked. I kind of went for, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the eaves will be different. You'll see what I mean in a second. So. Like it's gonna have like the porch uh, roof will change a lot, so you'll kind of see what I do. So I'm just right now trying to make what I have currently work, and I just didn't think it was working, so uh, I'm just gonna get rid of it uh, soon. But yeah, I'm uh, still messing around with it. But up, oh, changing up. Here we go. So here's where I changed up. I move the front porch forward a bit, so I make it a little bit larger, and uh, I'm also going to. And there's the new roof, so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, it's actually kind of similar to the other starter home I did, Sunrise Starter. It's not the same, but it's kind of similar. But you can see the main differenti differentiating point is the way that the roof kind of goes all the way up. Uh, there's like no ceiling over the porches, as you can see. It's kind of like, has just like the inside of the roof there, and then the uh, columns kind of meet the edge of the roof. Uh, you can kind of see what I mean. So I've done this before uh, plenty of times with other houses. I just kind of Oh, it looks kind of nice here. It's kind of always kind of interesting as opposed to just putting a normal roof on. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it for that uh, roofing stuff. So we're already like halfway through this video again. Very short video like the other starter house because, well, you know, there's not much to do in these uh, houses. So, uh, you know, it's going to go by a little bit quicker. But um, here I'm just choosing an interior uh, you know, wall material, and putting some tile in the kitchen. The kitchen goes yellow. There it is. There's the yellow stove and oven and sink. I think it's kind of wonderful. It's very cheerful. And, you know, I mean, if you don't like it, it's not hard to change that, but I think it's just kind of fun. And, you know, it's like, 
it's you know it's not like a super fancy house it's kind of like you know all the and actually well the whole in- interior this all well, this whole room is kind of green and yellow so it kind of fits in with that but also it's kind of like oh you know these old pieces of furniture this house is probably built like a long time ago and was never changed or updated so i thought that it's kind of a fun aesthetic and you know it's a cheap house so your sims have to start off you know you know with these older things that aren't necessarily as aesthetically pleasing but then they can have the satisfaction of, of upgrading them later. I don't know. Uh, there's my mint bathroom. So again, very interesting colors. Uh, I had fun with it. I thought it looks kind of cool. And it also just makes it look a lot less depressing, especially because there's not too many items I can put in. So, you know, I, I think the kind of the color helps make it look a bit more interesting and unique. So anyway, this is the bedroom. It's just a single uh, bedroom in this house, and it's a nice double bed. Uh, of course, a closet. I always like to include closets in my houses, and yeah, so putting in the clothes there, really an unnecessary expense in a starter home, but I like to have the details, so there is, you know, details like that that are definitely unnecessary, but in here I'm just putting some curtains in, which these curtains, they're from the store, I'm assuming that they're from Sunlit Tides, though I don't know for sure, it could be like Aurora Skies or something, it's some world, uh, and they're actually pretty cheap uh, in in game, so they actually work well as like uh, curtains that don't look bad and they're also pretty inexpensive so those are pretty good and here I'm just changing some colors on the outside but anyway there's gonna be some screenshots coming up after this uh, building part so if you enjoyed uh, I'd really appreciate it if you check out some of the other uh, videos on my channel there's plenty more house builds and if you've liked commented or subscribed I really want to thank you because I really appreciate it and helps out a lot and yeah, so here I'm just doing some final touches. Again, there is a download link in the description below, so you can download this house and place it on lot 90 in Plymouth Isle if you so choose. And yeah, so just the final touches here, actually some landscape lighting on this house, uh, which the other one didn't have, and a few uh, details that I'm just using the last few simoleons on. So just putting in some stuff in the bathroom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.